I have a lot of hard drives for my file backups that I want to be able to easily put on my network and I'm hoping that this Zimmer board can help me. Now this is a sponsored video by Ice Whale, the manufacturer of this product and I'm curious to know how hard is it to set something like this up. World's first hackable single board server. Bold claim, but it was designed to purely be hackable. Dude, it's got racing stripes. How fast is this thing gonna be? <laughs> It's actually not that fast. This thing comes with Linux pre-installed, but being x86 board, you can install Windows. We've got a bunch of ports, like dual gigabit Ethernet, dual USB 3.0, a mini display port, dual six gigabit SATA connectors, and a PCI2 expansion port with four lanes. They also provided a SATA wire cable, which provides power to two drives, as well as a mini display port to HDMI dongle, which I'll use to feed into my $20 capture card, which should display on the screen in my webcam app the output video. Yeah, it's booting up. This is sick. Casa OS. I'll just take the LAN from my laptop. Blink and lights, baby. Connected. Gigabit. So the display out from the Zimmer board is a full Linux desktop. You've got like Firefox, browser, LibreOffice. It's a computer. But if you go through the web portal, you get this like just home server dashboard. If we go to the app store, I'm presuming there's a lot of home media stuff here. Yep, Plex. You could use this to make your own router with OpenWRT, run an ad blocker network wide. If you're a nerd, the possibilities are endless. Dude, what? Home Assistant's here. One click Home Assistant install. This allows you to run your own smart home device server. Because the board's on the same network, it's able to send messages to my Google Home. Subscribe to Cam Shand. Yeah, so add a button for my light. It's kind of scary how easy that is to set up. My goal is to turn this into a NAS, so network attached storage. So I'm gonna plug a hard drive in. I can't create storage. Maybe it needs to be connected when it boots up. Create storage. Okay, it's here. So you can format it or you can just use it. I just wanna mount it. Saying there's no file system on the drive. Turns out since Casa is Linux based, it doesn't like Windows NTFS formatted drives. Using the desktop environment, I could mount the hard drives and they would show up in Casa OS, but they wouldn't persist past the restart. This could be done through command line and writing custom scripts, but I wanted to stick to the native interface. So with the spare SSD connected at boot, I was then able to easily one click format and mount, making the drive a Linux EXT format, where I could now simply make a folder hit share, and then on my Windows computer, map a network drive, enter the path, and then transfer files. It doesn't seem Casa OS is going to do what I need. The cool thing is I can just delete it and run a different operating system on the Zimmer board. To prepare for the software, I'm gonna mod the hardware. I want to be able to attach multiple three and a half inch hard drives to the Zimmer board. And I think the easiest way would be to build two shelves built into a stand. Now, I noticed the base was held on by screws. And so if I simply get longer screws, I could screw something else into the chassis. I was originally thinking to make the shelf and stand all curved to kind of wrap around the hard drives. But once I started modeling, I decided to change to Angular as this better matched the styling of the Zimmer board. I then added a lip to one side so the hard drives would stop at one end. After confirming it will hold the hard drive, I made some slight adjustments, added some chamfered edges, and then printed the second stand. With a bootable install USB of TrueNAS, I'm able to override the original operating system. I can now set this up as a purpose-built network attached storage or NAS system. These are NAS specific hard drives. So they have CMR with fast speeds and they are perfect for this project. With TrueNAS, I'm able to configure these hard drives to be RAID 1, which means that the data is cloned between both drives. This means if one hard drive fails, the same data should be on the other hard drive. Once they are configured and mapped as a network share, they only show up as a single four terabyte hard drive that I can back up my files to. And then with the bootable USB of Windows, I can connect and share my other drives when needed. Man, I'm stoked with the cyberpunk style design. Like designed to sand the rough edges just looks really cool. However, it's not gonna win any benchmarking. It's got an Intel Celeron N3450 with 2.2 gigahertz boost. That's a seven year old processor. However, it's got a TDP or thermal design power of six watts, meaning it's minimal heat, 
doesn't need fans and can just use these passive cooling fins. Being the 832 model, it's got eight gigs of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage, and is priced at $200. At about $15 more to get the SATA wire cable and the DisplayPort dongle. Now at that price, the argument could be made that you could buy a second-hand desktop PC with a processor that's newer than this, for cheaper that has more performance. However, it will consume more power. So when you're comparing this to things like an off-the-shelf NAS or router that you would want to customize, then it's about on par, especially because this has eight gigabytes of RAM. Plus with the expansion port, you could add Wi-Fi, five more starter ports, or even a graphics card for better decoding as a media server. For me, I have now realized that since it runs off 12 volts, I could use it in my car, and with the x86 architecture, I can now access the libraries that I haven't been able to use for Raspberry Pi projects. Man, the project ideas in my head right now, they're just far enough, and that's why products like this are great. Like, if you need something that's plug and play, off the shelf, then go do it. Like, I've bought the Synology here. That was my first NAS. But if you want to spend time learning to create and make your own things to tinker, well, then something like the Zim board might be your answer. If you liked today's video, thumbs it if you loved it, sub it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.